We'd like to thank David Simon for today's unique suggestion and his contributions to today's episode. Many of the images used in this video are of David's own skink friends. Thank you so much, David. Prehensile-tailed skinks are also known as giant skinks, Solomon Island skinks, and monkey-tailed skinks, and each of these names holds significance to the species. Prehensile-tailed skinks are giants, with some individuals reaching more than two and a half feet in length. These skinks are thought to be the largest skinks currently living in the world, though where they live is not a big area. Prehensile-tailed skinks are endemic to rainforests of the Solomon Island archipelago, meaning they're only found natively in that area of the world. This is important to note because prehensile-tailed skink numbers in the wild are falling due to deforestation and hunting. Deforestation can have a hefty impact on prehensile-tailed skink populations because these skinks spend a lot of their time in trees. Prehensile-tailed skinks are arboreal, and like many of the monkeys with which they share a name, these skinks have tails which are able to hold onto branches as they traverse the treetops. Much like the grasping tails of the chameleons we've previously discussed, this trait in prehensile-tailed skinks has left them without the ability to drop their tail in order to make a quick getaway from predators such as birds of prey, snakes, and large rodents. Prehensile-tailed skinks have other ways to avoid being eaten, though. Aside from spending a lot of their time in the tree canopy, prehensile-tailed skinks tend to be either nocturnal or crepuscular, meaning they use their markings and coloration to blend in with their leafy surroundings during the day when their activity levels are low. When they are actively seeking out food, they do so using a strong sense of smell. While most, and possibly all, other skinks are happy munching away on insects and other arthropods, prehensile-tailed skinks would rather be eating leaves, flowers, and fruits. Due to this dietary decision, prehensile-tailed skinks have to develop the appropriate gut bacteria to digest these foods. Thus, juveniles have been observed eating the waste of their adult group members in order to do so. I kind of feel bad for them because apparently these skinks have some pretty stinky poos. And considering they use their sense of smell to locate food… eesh. Speaking of group members, though, prehensile-tailed skinks live in small family groups in which all of the individuals help to raise and protect the young, something almost unheard of in the reptile world. At about two years of age, a prehensile-tailed skink will reach reproductive maturity. Even mating occurs in the trees, and instead of laying eggs, a female prehensile-tailed skink will gestate for just over half a year, and then give birth to a live baby who is roughly one-third her size. The baby will stay within the group living under the group's protection for up to a year before starting its own family. Groups seem to be pretty receptive to young members joining them, but they can be territorial around adults. Prehensile-tailed skinks may live to be decades old, with captive-kept individuals usually living longer than their wild counterparts. If you're interested in learning more about the husbandry of these animals, we would encourage you to check out David's Facebook group, Rare Reptiles Prehensile-tailed Skink Community. There, the group discusses care for captive-bred individuals of this species and just generally share a passion for these awesome reptiles. For more facts on prehensile-tailed skinks, check out the links in the description. Thanks again to David for your help with today's episode. If you enjoyed today's facts, be sure to give a thumbs up, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.